Good evening to everyone. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thanks. Okay, thank you. So, uh, welcome, Luis Montano Rocio. Nice to see you again here on the call. Welcome to. Um, well, we usually have some few students when we start the class, but as you know, uh, probably your classmates are going to be connecting throughout the session. So. Um, uh, I want to know, uh, Rodrigo, I mean, yesterday, as you told me, you were, you were here on the call, but you were not paying that much attention because you were working. So did you, did you kind of review the recording on YouTube for you to understand what we were doing or you understood what we were doing? Um, I, I remember mm -hmm. the last class. Yes, I mean. Uh, Okay, yes, teacher, and yesterday uh, list in the class, and I remember, uh, for example, uh, different food. Okay. Like uh, food, pyra pyra pyramid. Pyramid food, or the food pyramid, okay. Yes. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see. We saw yesterday a, a little bit of vocabulary of some vegetables and also some fruits. So uh, right now we're just gonna, we're kind of gonna go to, let's see. Yesterday we were going to have an activity, but at the end we couldn't have it because, you know, because of the time. But today we're gonna try to have it. So just let me just click on, on that because I kind of lost what I was doing here. Just give me a moment. Okay, so I'm checking right now. And um, well, yesterday we had some, well, we actually, we just had one actually, that it was the, this one. So I'm gonna share with you right now. So I will ask you for, for the answers, obviously, because you're supposed to do it yesterday. So let me just check here. Can you see the, the presentation in your phones? Yes. Good. Yes, I see. I can see. You can see it. All right. Good. So uh, here we're supposed to do that yesterday when we had the, the little practice at the end of the class. So you're supposed to do it. Uh, now, let's see. We have three six nine and right now we are five on the call welcome to the ones that just connected i see georgina and well only georgina who connected us with us again now let's see uh rodrigo did you do this exercise with your classmates yesterday um no teacher i'm sorry you didn't no i didn't okay no problem. So let me see, Rocio. What is the answer, Rocio, for number one? For number one is there is an ice cream. There is an ice cream. Why did you decide to use N and not A? For the ruler. 
in what then what what is that um the ice cream eh, in inicia con con una vocal okay porque la palabra eh, que, que que está junto a, al 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 artículo inicia con vocal Okay, correct. Yes, makes sense. Thank you very much. Now let's see, uh, Georgina, what do you have or what do you think it is the answer in number two? Georgina? Hello, Georgina, are you there? I think she's not there, probably. Good evening. Oh, okay. Good evening. So, uh, yesterday we were doing this exercise, and uh, I would like to know what do you think is the answer for number two? What answer or which answer did you select it? Okay, good. Um, there are uh -huh. there are some fries. There are some fries. Okay, good. Fries. Some fries. Excellent, because we're talking about the fries, which are. Las cuales son the, uh, las papas fritas. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Um, Christian, hello, Christian. Welcome. Christian, are you there? Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Christian. So uh, we were doing this exercise yesterday, Christian. So what do you think it is the answer on number three? Okay, there is a burger. There is a burger. Why did you select letter A and not letter N? Um, uh, because uh, the word burger begins okay. the, the consonant. The consonant. It starts with... Yes. With that okay, good. Now let's see. Uh Luis Montano, what do you think about number four? What do you think it is the answer? Good evening. Good evening. There is a meat. There is a meat. Why do you think? We have to use a and not some. Eh, según lo que entendí ayer, que lo hicimos en el grupo, y lo que he venido entendiendo, eh, a mí porque es carne y no la podemos contabilizar según lo que entiendo no la podemos contar entonces si yo utilizo if I use si yo utilizo la letra A, la letra A y yo digo there is a meat lo que yo estoy diciendo ahí eh, Luis es hay una carne entonces sería there is, there is some meat Correct, porque en ese caso yo estoy diciendo hay algo de carne. So I'm not fine. Oh, okay. There is some meat. Hay algo de carne. Correct. Okay. Now, Rodrigo, I know that you probably didn't do that in the class yesterday because you were not 100% on the class, but I'm pretty sure that you have an idea about it. So can you try to help me with this one? Um, 
It doesn't I, if it is not correct. Just do it whatever you think it is the correct answer. Um, I don't remember, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, much is for, for um, uncountable. Mm -hmm. um, there is, isn't much water. And you know what? That is correct. Why? Because much it is for non countables and many it is for countables. So the water okay. is not countable. So the correct answer is there isn't much water. Thank you very much, Rodrigo. Now, Rosa, okay. I want your help once again. Can you help me with this one? Your teacher. Can you help me? Rocio. Yes. <clears throat> there is a cake. There is a cake. Correct, because we are referring to one cake. Thank you very much. Now let's see who else do we have? We have. Let's see once again. Georgina, can you help me, Georgina, once again? With this one, okay. Uh, there is a, a, some rice. There is some rice. Correct, because we're saying que hay algo de arroz. That's good. There is some rice. Uh, now, let me ask you, Georgina. ¿Por qué no podríamos utilizar any? Why couldn't we use any? Because uh, rice is uncountable. Rice is uncountable. Okay, makes sense. But do you remember when we are going to use any? Um, because... Uh, is a negative correct and because we right. use any for negative correct excellent thank you very much now Luis Montano can you help me with this one Luis there there are a long mm -hmm. There are what? Pero ahorita le digo, there are long. Mm -hmm. So for many, you to answer, many, many, many eggs. There are many eggs? Yes. Okay. Now, in that one, let's see. Rocío, do you think the same thing? Piesta, piensas la misma cosa? Do you think the same thing? That we have to say there are many eggs? Yes, teacher. Why do you think so, Rocío? But uh, many, mm -hmm. algunos. Correct. Con Dice que hay algunos huevos. Mm -hmm. Se pueden contar. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, let me tell you that both answers are correct. Ambas respuestas podrían ser correctas. So, if I say there are a lot of eggs, hay muchos huevos, or there are many eggs, hay algunos huevos. So, I can use both of them, ambas están correctas ahí. So, if in an exam, si en algún examen eh, se le pide hacer o elegir una respuesta y usted elige cualquiera de las dos, that's not a problem. Why? Because both of them are correct. So, thank you. Now, Christian, I would like your help with the last one. Okay. There are some biscuits. There are some biscuits. Correct. Why do you think that we have to use some? 
um, algunos. Mm -hmm. And why uh, any? Um, any uh, is uh, for negative. For what? Uh, because any the use is a sentence negative. It's for negative, correct. And there we're talking about something positive. So, okay, thanks so much. So I see that we, we kind of understand really good what we're saying or the use of those. Now, let me see. Um, in this part, let's see, I had something here. And now we're not gonna do this because of, of of the time. So yesterday uh, we saw uh, the vocabulary of fruits and vegetables. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to present to you once again, that picture of the vegetables and I will ask you to tell me the pronunciation. Why? Because remember pronunciation is very important. So we are going to start with Rocio. Rocio, do you remember uh, the image? Well, can you see the, can you see in your phone? Uh, the screen, yeah, I I can you see I it? I can see. Okay, good. So I need you to help me, uh, Rocio, with line number one and line number two of pronunciation of the vegetables. Horizontal. Okay. Cucumber. Red cabbage. Mm -hmm. Red pepper. No. Cauliflower. Uh, that's that's vertical. I need you to do it horizontal. Oh, okay. Okay. Cucumber. Mm -hmm. Yellow onion, red onion, garlic, and carrot. Okay. A number line number two. Red cabbage, white cabbage, radish, eggplant. A mushroom. Okay, we have some pronunciations there that are not well pronounced, but I will repeat it right now. Listen, cucumber, yellow onion, red onion, carrot, red cabbage, white cabbage, radish, eggplant, mushroom. Okay, that's good. Now let's see, uh, Christian. I need your help, Christian, with line number three and line number four. Okay. Red pepper. Ar Artichoke. Car. Beef. Broccoli. Okay. Uh, cauliflower. Celery. Red chili. Green chili. Potato. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Can you help me with the next ones, Rodrigo? Okay. Asparagus. Olives. Pumpkin. Okay. Fennel. Spring onion. Okay, good. Now let's see, uh, Georgina, can you help me with the last one? Georgina? Georgina?
Well, I think Georgina is not there, probably. So we're good. I will need your help. Let's see, uh, Luis Montano. Okay. Tourney. Mm -hmm. Graham B. Grand B. Green Bean. Green Bean. Pau Cairo. Lettuce. Zucchini. Okay, good. I mean, I, I know that probably uh, like right now, it's it's like uh, probably some words are not going to be that clear. That's understandable. So now let's see the last time or the last ones here with the fruits. Georgina, can you help me with the first line? Well, Georgina is there probably. Rocio. Banana. Mm. Mango. Mm -hmm. Custard apple. Mm -hmm. Watermelon. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, Claudia. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, number two. Okay. Coconut. Okay. Uh, it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, uh, Christian. Okay. Star food. Guava. Papaya. Lichi. Okay, good. And we're going to go with, can you help me, uh, Luis Montano? Okay. Here we have passion fruit. Mm -hmm. Water apple. Okay. Po Pome Grainet. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Lemon. Lemon. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, can you help me with the next one? Okay. Uh, uh, grapefruit. Chico. Mm -hmm. Pineapple. Pineapple. And pineapple. And... Musk melon. Musk melon. Okay, now I would like to listen once again to, let's see, uh, Christian. Okay. Grapefruit. Uh, no, the next, this, one, next, next one. This one. Okay. Okay. Dragon fruit. Jack fruit. Mm -hmm. Rambutan. Okay. Kiwi. Good. And the last one, I'm going to read it. Avocado, Logan, Mangosteen, and Canistel. All right. So that's pretty much what we saw yesterday, but today's class is going to be different. Today, we're going to have a little bit of grammar. Let's say grammar, but I'm pretty sure that you have an idea about what we're going to see today because today's class is going to be about countable and non-countable nouns. That's what we're going to see today. So guys, today is our 12th class, which means that we only have four more classes and the module is going to be over. Once again, I would like to ask you, are you still working on the platform, guys? Does any one of you have any problem with the platform? Nadie ha tenido ningún problema con la plataforma? No, teacher. Well, no, teacher. No. Querían el único grupo que hasta el momento no ha tenido ningún problema. That's good. 
That's nice, because I mean, sometimes or the majority of the time, students usually have problems with the platform, like they don't, they don't have access. Georgina, yes. Eh, yo sí, este, me costó un poco una un examen de, de donde había como que ordenar. Los, los objetivos en un, adjetivos en una oración completa. Ah, ok. But did you finish? ¿Lo lograste completar or you're still having problems with that? No, lo dejé pendiente. Ok, so in that case, please text me uh, in the, uh, through WhatsApp and send me the number of the exercise so I can help you, ok? Teacher. Yes. El mismo problem tuve por ahí. <laughs> Do you have the same problem as Georgina? Eh, creo que el mismo que las ordené diferente. Ahorita lo voy a mandar al grupo. No sé si el mismo, pero solo esa es la que no he completado y no he hallado. Okay, so... Um... I will check that and I will I will text you and I will help you with that exercise, okay? Okay. All right, so as you can see today we have countable and non-countable nouns and we are going to have a little bit of information about that. And uh, with that information, we uh, we're going to understand or we're gonna have a small definition about what a countable or non-countable noun is. So we start and we can say that in English, countable and non-countable nouns are words that can be count, or we can say that in English, some words can be countable and uncountable at the same time. What does it mean? Que hay palabras in English, like the one that we have here, que pueden tener las dos opciones, which means that they can be countable and they can be uncountable at the same time. Why? That is going to depend on the context. So based on the context or whatever uh, context you have, that is going to help you to understand if the use is countable or that's going to be uncountable. So we have here, the word example, example, so every single time, cada vez que usted vean en un diccionario, these two letters, estas dos letras significa example. That's like the abbreviation, es como la abreviación de example. So the word iron, iron puede ser considerado Countable en un contexto y también uncountable dependiendo del contexto que tengamos. Then cake and chicken and also time. When we say time, cuando decimos time, nos referimos a, for example, if I talk about the time, si yo hablo del tiempo en general, I can say, for example, uh, time, or we can say, for example, something like, Time is passing by. If we say something like that, we're talking about the time. Estamos hablando del tiempo in general. So we're talking about that in there. Y ahí estamos diciendo que es incontable. Uncountable porque no hay algo que nos esté midiendo o determinando si lo podemos contar. But it's different when we say, I need to study three hours. Necesito estudiar tres horas. We're still talking, todavía estamos hablando del tiempo, three hours, tres horas. But now, en ese contexto, se vuelve contable. Why? Because now I'm talking about three hours. ¿Entendemos un poco la diferencia entre cuándo va a ser contable y cuándo incontable? Yes. Good. All right, so we're going to move on. And we have here a little bit of an explanation about a countable noun. So, Rodrigo, go ahead and help me reading 
until the first period. I mean, the second period. Okay, and they usually? No, from, from the beginning, from here until here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, countable noun, noun are words which can be counted. Mm -hmm. They have a singular, fo singular form and a plural form. Mm -hmm. um, are you next? No, that's okay. Now let's see, Rocio. Help me from here until here. They usually prefer to think. They usually refer to things. Okay, good. Now, help me now, um, Christian, from here until the last period. Okay. Most countable nouns become plural by adding and S mm -hmm. at the end of the word. Okay, that's good. So now we have some uh, some idea, let's say, about with this small definition that we have of countable of a countable noun. We can say that obviously countable nouns by obvious reasons are things that we can count. For example, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Obviously, we can count them. Now, let's see. What are uncountable nouns? And I will need uh, Luis Montano. Can you help me until from here, from here until here, please? Okay. Uncountable noun. Noun. Uncountable noun. Uncountable noun. Are are words mm -hmm. which cannot be counted? Counted. Counted. Uh, therefore, mm -hmm. they only have a singular form. Okay, thank you very much. Now I will need uh, Claudia's help from here on this part until this part here. Which one? Which one? The words. Oh, this uh, words. Mm -hmm. This words uh -huh. are uh, talk. Are thought. Perdón. Thought. Thought. Como con S al principio. No, con Z. Con Z. Mm-hmm. Okay, and now let's see. Um, Rodrigo, help me once again. Okay. They usually refer to obstructions. Um, such as confidence, confidence. or ad confidence or advice mm -hmm. or collectives such as equipment, equipment. or equipment no or no. we say equip equipment equipment mm -hmm. or luggage 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 okay good now uh the explanation that we have here is that uncountable nouns are obviously things that we cannot count another particular characteristic of uncountable nouns is that they only have singular que quiere decir que los uncountable no tienen plural only singular Solamente singular. So that's why it says they only have a singular form. They have no plural forms. And they are thought y son pensados 
as wholes rather than as parts. Son pensados como enteros, no como partes. Or another characteristic of uncountable nouns is that we can use them to refer to abstractions. Nos podemos referir a cosas abstractas, like for example, love. We can talk about love. We can talk about, you know, intelligence. Those are things that we cannot see. And also, uh, as it says there, like collective things, like, you know, equipment, cosas colectivas como equipo, or luggage, which are, que son como maletas. So we're gonna start right now and we're going to go with uh, some information about each one of them and some characteristics and some examples that we are going to have about each one of them. For example, we start with the countable nouns and we are going to say once again, that are things that we can count. For example, we can say a dog, five pencils, five dogs, two houses, etc. One particular characteristic of countable nouns is that these ones, they can have singular and they can have plural. That's the difference between uncountable and countables because the countables, they can have both singular and plural, both. We have some examples there. We have my best friend is a very intelligent girl. So we're using the word friend, that's the countable noun. And we're using the singular form. So if we want to use the plural form, we're gonna say, my two other friends now, como decía anteriormente, we, we make the, the plural, hacemos el plural, by adding a letter S to the noun. So there it says, my two old friends are good at sports. So there we have uh, the plural form of the friend, which is the singular that we had before. And now with the letter S, we have a plural. Also, it's very important that we can use so that we uh, we have to use some other things. For example, we can use a n, we can use the, we can use numbers. For example, one, two, three, four, five. We can also use some and any. We can use many. We can use how many, a lot of, and a few with countable nouns. And we're going to have some examples here. Now, I would like to listen to you, uh, Christian, with the yes or no questions. Okay, yes, no question. Mm -hmm. Are there any seats? How many seats are there? Okay. Good. Now, let's see. I would like to listen to you right now, Rocio, with the affirmative. Excuse me, teacher. Help me with the affirmative, these ones. Affirmative. There are some seats. There are a few, a few seats. There are a lot of Sit if there are too many seats. Good, excellent. Now let's see. When you see, when you listen to the sentence, cuando escuchan la oración, there are some seats. What do you guys understand? What? What show? Excuse me. The, the first one, this one, there are some seats. What do you guys understand? Uh, hay algunas sillas o algunos asientos. Algunos asientos. What about there are few, a few seats? Um, 
Hay algunos asientos. Algunos. Asientos. Algunos asientos. No, in that case, when we say there are a few, unos pocos asientos. Now, when we say there are a lot of seats. Hay muchos asientos. Muchos. Now, there are too many seats. También hay algunos asientos. Hay también algunos asientos. Now, in that case, we say hay demasiados. Too many, demasiados asientos. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. I would like to listen to you, Rodrigo, with the negatives. Okay. There aren't any seats. There aren't many seats. Okay, good. There are no seats. Good. Now, is there any question, guys? Hay alguna pregunta with with the countable nouns con los par? Um, for example, teacher, uh, the words people and person, what is plural and what is uh, singular? Okay, now let me let me explain you. In the old in the old language, in la vieja versión del inglés, dado que los idiomas van cambiando cada día, no cada día, but we sometimes we have some changes. Antes, or, per, or people, las personas que ya tienen sus años, uh, in the United States, they used to say things, oh my God, it's nowhere, okay. They used to say things like, Jesus Christ, why is this not working? Oh, here it is, okay, good. They used to say person, and back in the days, antes solían decir person, for singular and persons for plural. They're still, that's still okay. Eso todavía es utilizado, but ahora ya no se utiliza mucho a la forma oral. Siempre es utilizado a la forma escrita. For example, if you read a book, si leen algún libro antiguo, if you read a novel, if you read the uh, Something old. Si leen algo que ya tenga sus años, you can see that word. Pueden ver esa palabra como persons. And they will refer y se van a referir a personas. But now, with the new version, con la nueva versión del inglés, we have different things. Why? Because now the plural form of person is going to be people. But Nowadays is adapted, está adaptado al, al nuevo idioma y ahora es utilizado, no al nuevo idioma, but it's now used, utilizado más a la forma oral y a la forma escrita. Now eso está cambiando. But it doesn't mean, no significa that if you're talking with a person native of the language, no significa que si estás hablando con alguien nativo, it doesn't mean that they are not going to understand. They will understand if you say persons, they will. But it is important that you know that that's all, the old version of the language. And now the new version of the language is person and people, the plural form. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to move on right now to the uncountable noun part. And as we already know, are things that we cannot count. Example, water, light, friendship, la amistad, el agua y la luz are non-countable nouns in English. Now, Another characteristic that is very, very important in this case is that uncountable nouns only have singular form. They do not have plural 
only singular. So that's why it's important that you remember that. Now let's see some examples. In this case, we say chocolate makes you happy. In this case, we're talking about chocolate in general. And we're saying the chocolate makes you happy. Now, if this one, this adjective, this, I mean, this noun, este sustantivo can be countable and uncountable. In this case, está siendo utilizado como uncountable. But, ¿qué pasa si yo lo quiero usar como countable? Yo puedo decir, uh, Hershey's chocolates are the special, let's see, are special. There, in this case, si se pueden fijar, chocolates ya está in, in like in plural. Entonces, automáticamente se forma un contable. ¿Por qué? Acabamos de decir que los incontables no se pueden hacer plural. So, in this case, we can see that the noun chocolate can be both. Puede ser los dos al mismo tiempo. So, um, another thing is that we can also use the word da. We can also use some and any. We can use too much. Si se fijan en los, en los contable, usamos too many. Y aquí vamos a usar too much. En los contable usamos how many. Y aquí vamos a usar how much. Here we can use a lot of and also a little. Now, let's see, uh, Rodrigo, help me please with the just and no. Yes or no questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there any milk? Okay. How much milk is there? Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Christian, help me, Christian, with the affirmative. Okay, affirmative. There is some milk. There is a little milk. There is a lot of milk. There is too much milk. Okay, good. Now, uh, Luis Montano, can you help me with, uh, with the negative? There is, there is no, mm -hmm. any meal, there is no, mm -hmm. much meal, there is no meal. So we have there isn't any milk, there isn't much milk, there is no milk. So we can have, uh, those three with the negatives. Now, let's see. If you listen to the sentence, there is some milk. What do you guys understand? I algo de leche. Say it again. I algo de leche. Correct. Now, we would say there is a little milk. Because the milk is not countable. Mm -hmm. So, but if we say there is a little milk, what do you guys understand? Exactly. And if we say there is a lot of milk. And if I say there is too much milk. Exactly. Demasiada. Good. So, do you guys have any questions so far? No. Okay. If there's no any question, guys, we're going to go directly to the practice that we have for today. So, just let me stop sharing here. And we're going to go to the practice. So, just let me... Let me just pull this out. And 
here we go. Okay, let me just share the screen. So here we have, this is the first one that we're gonna have. Can I move to number two? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so those are the only two that we're gonna have for today. So I will stop sharing right now. I'm going to create the breakout rooms and we are going to go to work together. So just let me get some. Okay, let me move this person here. Move this person in here. And this person here and this person in here. So go ahead, guys. Please join your rooms and let's try to work that out. Luis Chavez, are you having any problem trying to connect with your group?
Okay, so we're just going to wait for the for your classmates, Georgina, to come back because I see that some of them are still in the group. So did you complete the exercises, Georgina? Did you finish? No. You didn't? So guys, did you finish the exercise? Let me the chair. The half? The half. Half of that. Okay, so um, we will have those, the ones that you didn't finish. So did you finish only part number one or part number one and two? Or only part number one? Only part number one? La primera parte de la mitad de la primera de la primera parte. Okay, so we're going to have the, those four as a homework. We're going to have that as a homework. And that is going to be for Monday. Because remember, tomorrow we don't have class. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for coming to the class. And have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.